Okay, folks, welcome back. So I've had a little bit of time here, just a few minutes to work on this drum sander, and I thought I'd show you as a video just to show you the sandpaper on. And, you know, I, I hope you guys weren't expecting something uh, too elaborate to hold this sandpaper on because I'm just kind of copying my other machine, my big drum sander. There's actually a little, kind of a little slot here that there's a, you know, there's an Allen key that, you know, it'll hold the end of this sandpaper well. Um, you know, I can tell that it's holding it plenty strong enough, so the way I'm going to hold it on this little simple machine is I'm just going to drill, I just pre-drilled a hole and just a flat-headed screw, so, you know, holding on to the end of the sandpaper here, and one holding the other way, so all I got to do is, is, uh, is once I get my angle so that I can cut this piece of sandpaper, then all I'll have to do is just start it on this end, I'm going to draw a line on my drum that I can follow to get it started, and then I'll just have to pull it tight, and when I get to the end, just put the other screw in the other end. And the way that I found this angle is, is when you build one of these, if you build one, then when you go to put the sandpaper on, you'll be able to start in the middle and get it wrapping so that it's wrapping tight and lining up with each other. And there's only one angle that this will wrap at. It's, uh, you'll see what I mean when you start to do it. It'll just, it'll go tight and it'll wrap uh, tight together. And then when you get to the end of the drum, you'll just be able to hold it and let it run over the end. Then you'll just be able to trim it off with a knife like I did. And then once you have that angle, then the next time you make a new piece of sandpaper, you'll just be able to use this as a template. You'll just take this off and just cut that same angle off the end and then everything will go the same way next time. So, I was a little worried that this thing it might throw it out of balance a little bit by putting these screws in here, but it doesn't seem to have hurt any. Uh, I've done a little bit of test sand and tried to, done a few uh, takes on this, and uh, and it's not throwing it out any. The only other thing I might do is right opposite of this screw, I might put another screw, and then it'll totally balance it. And the same thing on this side is right opposite to this screw is put another screw, and then that would balance it back out because this drum was very well balanced so I also picked up a few more parts here I got a few pieces of threaded rod and I've got a few of these um, joiner nuts they're called uh, which I'm not even sure I'm going to use and a few little compression springs that uh, that I think I'm going to use for the rollers because they'll obviously have to be a little spring loaded the the feed rollers on this because uh, they, they you just need a little bit of give you don't want any give in your head but the little feed rollers you definitely want a little give in them so what I'll do now is I'll just start this up and I'll do just a little wee bit of sand and I'm amazed how much this <coughs> one third horsepower motor, you'll have to excuse my voice, I'm just getting over a little cold here. Uh, I'm amazed how good this little one third, third horsepower motor is, that's the same motor that, that uh, I robbed it off of the, uh, the belt sander and uh, I'm amazed how much power it's got, you know you can see the end of this board, I've been really grinding into this and this is a piece of birch. And, uh, and as, you know, I got to push really hard to shut it down, and I will just to show you that, you know, even if I'm right here close to the end and I push down really hard, it's not hurting that sandpaper. I don't know if I can stop it, actually. I know it's making some pile of sawdust. But the same thing, as long as I don't touch that bolt, and even if I do, it's just going to bang around a little bit. Uh, but pretty slick how this is working, and, you know, it doesn't take much. We don't have to come up with something big and elaborate. I have seen other ones where they use Velcro and such, but then you got to try to find special sandpaper. With this way, all we're going to have to do is just get a regular 6 inch wide belt. You know, a 6 by 48 belt would uh, more than cover this 18 inch drum, and uh, they're about 12 bucks, so pretty cheap way of, uh, of covering this drum. And, you know, we'll have a thickness sander when this is done. With them other ones, which is running across the top, then, you know, we could sand something smooth, but if we want to make a top or something like that, or, uh, you know, this thing would act as a thicknesser because it will be sandwiched between the, the table and the drum. So, you guys keep tuning in. I'm going to see if I can't make these parts. Uh, turn this, get this uh, head moving up and down. <coughs> and also build the rollers. I've got a few more pieces of threaded rod to do that with as well. So, you guys keep tuning in and uh, I thank you for watching this video.